Good morning. Uh, today I wanted to talk about relaxing with God. And I wanted to talk about, um, there's a guy, Andrew Farley, that has, that'll flesh this out. He's got an hour and a half message on relaxing with God, and it's beautiful. Because I think what we tend to do um, inside the church is we end up trying to do in order to receive from God. But really what we're supposed to be is we're supposed to believe and receive and then reflect what we've received in Christ. Our spiritual condition is dead. And then God being rich in mercy and grace makes us alive together with Christ. We're not doing in order to receive. We're dead. He infuses life into us. He brings our spirit to life. Now we're fused together with Christ, and that's how we live our life, with the same heart, the same mindset. We ab we're able to see people for their created value rather than what they're doing. Um, so the idea of relaxing with God, you know, it is, it is by grace that you've been saved through faith of the finished work of Christ alone, not by what you do. The enemy wants us to get busy doing. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. If he's got you busy trying to do in order to receive from God something that you've already received in Christ, then he's winning. So the idea is when we receive the love and peace and joy and contentment of God, then we reflect that on all that come across our path. We get to be the fragrance of God's love wherever we go without us being at the center. Before, when, we're, when that spirit is not alive, when we're living in the flesh, we are at the center. So we could do loving things. It could, you could do loving things, but it's not coming from a place of freedom. It's coming from a place of lack and emptiness that you're trying to fill yourself with something rather than being overwhelmed and filled with God's spirit, his love, his mercy, and his grace, and then you just reflecting what you've received in him. That's freedom, and that's relaxing with God. God bless y'all.